Oh my god, I'm so sick right now. <laughs> Sound like a sick Donald Trump. I love Kanye so much. He has, he has the best words. We both have the best words. He is a fine American. China. Coming down. What's up, everybody? It's your man, it's me, Pots and Pans, back at it again, and however else we're gonna rhyme today. Frankly, I'm not in the rhyming type of mood. Ramen? I'd kind of be in the ramen type of mood. That would be nice if I had some ramen, cause not feeling so good right now. Why is my hair like this? Why does it look like uh, I just rolled out of the last bed that I'll ever roll out of? <laughs> I don't feel that great. My ribs are kind of broken from jujitsu. And nose stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna riff this. I'm gonna put on a hat. Where's a hat? Best day ever. Great. Grand, wonderful. I don't necessarily feel like doing this video, Okay, but you my gnocchis and you expect it. I put it out on Instagram the other day. I have some tips. I'm smart sometimes and I know how to fix these things. Uh, I can handle things, I'm smart! The f biggest thing to consider is that I didn't get it done soon enough. You're supposed to get after it from the get-go. As soon as you start to feel that coming around, you gotta, you gotta swoop in on it like a, like a bird, you know, like a... Ah! On, on a miniature pincher, pincher, uh, shih tzu, and the, and the, ah! But I didn't do that, you know? I went to the gym, and I did jujitsu, and now- Our pets' heads are falling off! So what do you do when you feel this kind of stuff coming on? How do you get rid of it? You nip it in the bud with these five, six, seven things. I don't feel like counting right now. However many things I say in this video, that's how many tips. Without further ado, let's get into the first tip. First thing you should consider, vitamin C. Kind of ubiquitous, but you got a couple dummies out there. Everybody knows about oranges and grapefruits, but you, you know, cherries and then antioxidant rich things like acai and blueberries. These are things you should consider. Everybody knows vitamin C is an immune booster. You might be asking yourself, you know, how do I, I don't know how even how to spell antioxidant or how do I get to know what foods vitamin C are in? And, and this reminds me of my great aunt Mildred back in the day when I was this big, still actually that big, but when I was little, you get it, uh, the Je Jehovah's Witnesses used to come to the door and I'd run up and I'd say, get out of here, you JWs. And, and aunt, great aunt Mildred, bless her heart, she said, Michael, how do you know that they're not nice people? And I was like, I just know that Jesus told me. And, and she said, well, how else you gonna find out unless you vitamin C? And that stuck with me. You know, to this day, uh, I never, never read a book by its cover. Pomegranates and lemons and cherries. And oh my. Greens, this is a good t opportunity to say, hey, get your greens in. Not only do they have a lot of those polyphenols that are good for you to activate your immune system, Brussels sprouts and uh, kale and, and these kind of things, they got vitamin C too. Um, so yeah, eat them, they got the fiber. Kill two dachshunds with a uh, one, one hawk. Ah! Two raccoons, two possums with a boomerang and a Spater. one John Wick. Speaking of greens, number two recommendation is broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts contain something called sulforaphane. Now I'm crazy about sulforaphane. Loads and loads of benefits. It could be the most potent polyphenol plant compound. Hormesis inducing. DNA changing. And I'm having a tough time keeping these broccoli sprouts down. Dripping, son of a guns! Sulfurophane actually activates something called the NRF2 pathway that controls like 200 different genes when it's like brain health and immune support. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. Across the board, sulfurophane is where it's at. Numero tres. Oil of oregano. Very, very powerful in fighting off infections. It's antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anti-fungal. It's loaded with antioxidants and polyphenols. 
all these things again activating genes activating your immune system getting that cold out the dough don't put it directly on your skin don't even think about putting it in your mouth Crazy. it will burn your face off Use a carrier oil, put it in some water or something like that. Maybe you could put it directly in your food, but mix it up. Do not have this directly on your skin. You, you walking down the street, wouldn't it be nice if we... No, burnt. Everything burnt. Mushrooms. Medicinal mushrooms. Not the magic kind, although they are kind of magical. Let me break down some of these MVPs, some of the big guys in the fungi world, all right? Well, we got chaga. There's a ton of different studies. Um, chaga extract given to mice for like 24 days. It bolstered their immune system, increased their white blood cell count in their bone marrow. Rishi administered every day has been known to increase your natural killer T cell production. It gets rid of cancer cells, it gets rid of viruses, this sort of thing. There's a few others that are kind of getting the spotlight right now. You're thinking about like lion's mane and cordyceps. These mushrooms are also very beneficial, but it doesn't necessarily they don't even have to be these medicinal mushrooms. So you could go out to the store and you can get shiitakes, very, very powerful. Um, oyster mushrooms, same thing. Even like button mushrooms have been shown to have a lot of benefit for you. But hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll stop you right there, okay? Don't be going out to the salad bar and eating these raw mushrooms. All mushrooms should be cooked. There's mycotoxins called agaritines and hydrazines. These things are only eliminated with high heat. Say what? You need to be cooking your mushrooms, but it's pretty simple. Again, you can go to Whole Foods and get a lot of benefits out of the mushrooms. You don't have to get these turkey tail or amadou to have all the benefit. I'm gonna go to the store and get me some mushrooms. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Next one, garlic. I know I talk about polyphenols all the time, but guess what? They're important and they're good for you. Very, very similarly to the sulforaphane conversion that we talked about with the broccoli sprouts, there is a compound called allicin that's in garlic. What you gotta do is you gotta chop up your garlic, mince it up real nice, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, all that fancy stuff, this allicin starts to come out, and this is the thing that actually packs the punch, this is what activates your immune system. Now, I wouldn't eat this raw garlic on an empty stomach, okay? It's just gonna burn you right in the brisket, all right? Bring a gnocchi to his knees, boy, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, don't do that. Don't be a nightmare, okay? Don't go out and get garlic pills, because first of all, a lot of them are more expensive. A lot of them have some things in it that you don't necessarily need. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, you, 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 manioki, you, you don't, we don't fly under the radar, okay? We stand out. We stay fresh to death, always. And if that means going out, walking the streets, smelling like a yeasty, old, rotten casserole in a New York City dumpster, then that's what we're gonna have to do, okay? This is how we do. This is how we do it. Sha -la -la -lo -ho. Chop up your garlic, wait five to 10 minutes, consume it raw. Uh, phrasing? Bye-bye, cold. Hey, cold. Hey, bye. Hey, cold, leave. See, see this space? Don't be here no more. Now, don't try to swallow a garlic clove whole. What do you, what a fucking nightmare. Doesn't work. You gotta damage these cell walls. Um, phrasing? You gotta mince it up real nice. Area D black. Hey, phrasing! And last but not least, ginger. You wanna get to the root of the issue, use ginger root. Am I right? Actually, ginger's not a root. You big dum dum, it's a stem. It grows underground and it's considered a rhizome. Oh, bet you didn't know that, did you? You didn't, because you're stupid. Sorry. But you're here, because you're stupid. Sorry, again. Ginger is very, very powerful at reducing inflammation, has all these antioxidants as well, one of them being gingerol, which sounds like a fucking word I just made up, but I didn't. It's a real thing. Look it up. And also, all words are made up, so who's the joke on now? Not me. And not to mention, I just love ginger. It's not my thing. Everything about it reminds me of fall, reminds me of autumn, uh, reminds me of uh, red-haired people. Gin chicken soup when I'm sick, usually, which by the way, if you wanna make me chicken soup, come, come, or Postmate it. Nothing better than ginger, little lemongrass maybe, also an adaptogen, very powerful as well. Get that in chicken soup, ixnay on noodles bay. I don't, never been good at pig Latin. I don't know if that, but anyway, yeah, we know how I feel about the carbs and the gluten, especially when you're sick. You gotta avoid all the sugar. You gotta avoid all those shitty oils. 
You gotta avoid the processed foods. You need nourishment when you're sick. So don't do the pasta thing. With all due respect, that's a bunch of malarkey. You know, that's old news. It's like, oh yeah, my parents have been doing it forever. My grandparents, uh, they also used to use a fucking rotary phone that you had to spin your finger in a circle for, so that makes no sense. Hey, guess what else your great grandparents used to do? Ride a horse. Guess what we have now? Cars, way better, you know? Things evolve. Get rid of the pasta just for a day. Get that chicken soup. Put the ginger in there, start to feel better. We gonna be all right. Uh, ultimate guide to feeling better is to f to feel better. So if it's nostalgic to have chicken noodle soup and that's gonna make you feel better, then, you know. Fuck me, right? What do I know? Just a chef with a YouTube channel. Other than that, this is pretty obvious, but get sleep. You know, get that rest. That's what I'm doing today. I'm actually taking a step back, just doing some work on my phone, but I'm not doing, I'm not going to the gym, I'm not doing any of that stuff. Your body needs all the energy to actually get yourself better. I got a super simple recipe down low shot that I take every time I'm sick. I take it multiple times a day. You got garlic and ACV and like, if you wanted to be a baby, you get a puree, a little juice. So pomegranate seeds, also full of antioxidants, amazing for you. Uh, the good chopped ginger, all that stuff, put it in a shot glass. Hey, hey. What's it hit your lips? It's so good. Heals everything, except VD and leukemia and cancer and Parkinson's and loneliness. There's a lot of things that doesn't heal, okay? But I'll leave you with a little bit of motivation here. Um, if you're starting to feel sick, you know, you're starting to feel some of these symptoms come on, do these things that I listed in the video. Uh, tell me how they work out for you. Tell me if they work. Um, but but follow them to, to uh, the extent that I've, I've explained them because if you don't feel good in life, you know, you're just not going to be good. And when you're not when you, when you're not good, then then it's not good. Okay, life life's not good, and you want to be good, overall. Message. That's all I got for you guys today, cause I don't want don't want to do this anymore. I want to take a nap. So, um, shout out to some Davenport. What's your name? Hold on. Shout out to Stephanie Davenport. Congratulations, being the newest gnocchi to the pot. Uh, tell all your friends if you want to get a shout out on my next video. Subscribe, or you ain't, you ain't gonna get shout out. Retweet this on Twitter, hit me up, say what up chef, how you doing? Check in on me, you know, I got feelings too. Follow me on Instagram, come say what's up, and uh, drop a comment below, what works for you? What's your like go-to remedy when you get sick? I'm actually curious to know. Uh, that's it, I'm gonna go make some delicious chicken broth, Asher, Asher broth. Peace, love, bacon grease, my gnocchis. Chef out.